Welcome back YouTubers. This is going to be a review of the Marvel House of X Build-A-Figure for the Tri-Sentinel series, Moira McTaggart. Usually she's a supporting character for the X-Men. She's not one of the regular cast. But in this case, she's one of the integral parts of the new House of X story. A minor spoiler for what's going to happen. It turns out that Moira is a mutant. In previous stories, she has been just a studier of mutants, and she's also had a son, Prote a serial killer who was a mutant. As you can see, she's got good posability in all her joints. But she was never a mutant before. Now they're retconning it to be, yes, she is a mutant, but her mutant power is not an active power. It only activates upon her her death. And it allows her to basically relive her previous lot. Basically, every time she dies, she gets sent back to the beginning and she starts it all over again. She's done this multiple times and she's basically been trying to save the mutant population in every single version of events. This one comes with this leg of the Tri-Sentinel. the left. But Moira's basically been unsuccessful. She's tried kill, and her main problem has been the Sentinels, or more specifically, machines. Humans always build machines in order to oppose mutants. I'm, while I talk, I'm going to switch her over to her accessories, because she comes with an alternate outfit she can wear. Every time the mutants come into existence. Humans can't compete with them physically, obviously, because of their mutant abilities, so they build machines to compensate for what they lack. In doing so, this always brings rise to the Sentinels. And because of this, the Sentinels frequently either enslave or turn the mutants into some sort of workforce, or they enslave humanity, or merge with humanity. There's a whole bunch of different ones. Moira has tried numerous times, always failing, and in this t version of events, she's trying a different approach by letting Charles and Magneto know long before, and they're trying to build a nation because trying to coexist with humans has never worked. So they're just trying to separate themselves from humanity and hope for the best. Well, we'll see what happens. Now, Moira comes with, as you can see, an alternate head and lab coat and arms, plus the hands that go with it, as well as this little book with the atomic symbol on it. Hence the old Children of the Atom moniker that was associated with them. But anyway, that's Moira McTaggart. I'm interested to see, read this story, so I'm looking for the trade right now. But it's kind of confusing because there's a bunch of different ones, so I'll have to figure it out. But anyway, if you like this video, please like, subscribe, comment below, share this video with your friends, and I'll see you all next time. Ciao!